Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Roulette Master once again and uh, today in this video I'll show you how to play all the outside Welcome back to our channel Roulette Master, and today we will show you how to play all the outside bets together, and how to reduce the risk of losing your entire bankroll in case if there is a long losing streak. But before we start watching this video, we would like to request all of you to watch our entire video on rules and payouts of roulette, otherwise you will not understand anything from this roulette strategy. The link is given in the description of this video. The main concept behind doing so is to maintain your balance even if you are losing at some places. So even after losing at one or two positions, you can still recover that loss from other winning positions. First of all, you need to make sure that you must have three losing spins for any two external combinations or outside bets. By outside bets, we mean it can be red, black, it can be even odd, or it can be low and high end bets at the roulette table. And by losing spins, we mean the missing spins for that particular outside bet. I mean when you will lose this bet. So here we are, and let me give you an example. Let's say, last three winning numbers are 13, 31, and 17. So you can say we have three losing or missing spins for red and even bets. Because the all three numbers 13, 17, and 31 are black, and all are odd numbers. Or it can be like 19, 23, and 32. Now you have three missing spins for black and low end numbers of the table because all these three numbers are red and from the high end of the table. So same way like this, you must have three losing spins for any two outside combinations before start playing under this method. The next step is to place your bets. So immediately after three losing spins for any of two outside combinations, you can place one one unit on these both combinations, and you can also place one more chip at any third combination. You can choose any position of your choice for the third chip. After this, you have to place one one chip at last two winning dozens and last two winning columns. In short, we will cover three outside one-to-one -one combinations out of six outside combinations, and we will also cover two out of three dozens and two out of three columns. So we will place one one unit at all these seven positions, and our total bet will be seven units in all. It can be seven US dollars, or it can be seven rupees, or it can be any other currency of the world. There are so many progressions, but I will use simple increasing progression. I will add one unit on losing my bet and remove one unit on winning. And I will stop playing if I will get at least one unit profit in my account. That's all about this roulette strategy. Please note that we will place seven units at seven different positions. That is, three outside one-to-one -one bets plus two dozens plus two columns and seven units in all. But in real, we will play for five bets only. That is, three outside one-to-one -one bets plus one dozen plus one column because two dozens and two columns will be considered as a single bet separately. So now let me take you to an European roulette table, and I will explain you how to use this trick in Real. This is an European roulette table, and we have six outside combinations as highlighted here in this rectangular box, and you will get only one chip extra on winning any one of these bets. For example, if you have placed one chip here on red, and the winning number is 32, then you will get two chips in return. One is your investment, 
and one is your profit. Same way on winning a dozen or column bets, you will get three chips in return. That means one is your investment and two as your profit. There are total three dozens and three column on any roulette table. So let us spin the wheel and see if we can get a combination to start our bets or not. Last three winning numbers 2, 18 and 14 are even and all these numbers are from the low end of the table. So we have three missing spins for odd and higher end bets. So I will place one one chip at odd and higher end of the table and I will choose black as my third bet. I will also place one one chip at last two winning dozens and one one chip at last two winning columns. Due to time constraints, we have missed our dozen and column bets. I always use demos to demonstrate strategies, but people don't want to see demos. The winning number is 22 which is a black and even number, and is also covered by the high end. So we won two bets out of three, and we are in one unit profit now. Unfortunately, we missed our dozens and columns bets last time, and the last winning number is already from the previous two dozens and columns. Either way, now we have to wait for the next available option to place our bets. Remember that patience is the key to success in roulette or in any other game. The last winning numbers are 22 and 2. Both are black and even numbers. So if we will get one more even and black number this time, then we can start our next round. Winning number is 14 and again there is no combination. Sometime it can take too long to get the right combination. So let's speed up this video until we find the next combination. Both the last winning numbers are black and even numbers. So if we will get another black and even number this time, then we can start our next round. The winning number is six, which is a black and even number. And that's what we were talking about. Now we have three missing spins for red and odd bets. So we will place one one chip at red and odd section and we will add higher end, which is 19 to 36, as our third bet. We will also place one one chip at last two winning dozens and last two winning columns. Let's see. Unfortunately, again, we missed a column due to lack of time. The winning number is 3, and we won 4 out of 5 bets. You can consider both dozens as a single bet, and both columns as a single bet. So we are placing 7 units on 5 different bets, and now I'm speeding it up again to get my next combination. Let's go! The winning number is a black and even number, and again, we have three missing spins for the red and odd section of the table. So we'll put one chip in red, one in odd, and we'll add one to 18 as our third outside bet. And we'll also cover last two winning dozens and last two winning columns. The result is again same, 
a black and even number, and we lose all our bets except the lower end 1 to 18 bet only. So we will rebet and add one more unit to all the bets except 1 to 18 only. And this time we have played all the bets, we did not leave any bet as before. Let's see. So with this win we won 4 out of 5 bets, and now it's up to you. To continue with the remaining one, or not. I will try again. Let's see. We will stop as soon as we get the benefit of at least one unit. And this time I will change my position from red to black. We lose. So I will add one more unit, and I will follow the winning color this time. This is a random selection, and there is no any logic behind doing so. Now we need at least two or more wins in a row to cover this loss. Let's see. We won, but I need one more win, so I will play with the same color again. Again, we lost, and this time I will go with winning dozen, as none of the last seven spins are repetitive. So give it a try. Another reason behind doing this is to cover the entire loss in just one win. We won, and now you can check the balance. We are again in two unit profit. And now we will look for the next available option. So I will speed up this video again, and here we go. Today we have three missing spins for black and odd numbers. So just like before we will put one chip on all the missing places and one chip at the last two winning dozens and columns. Let's see. We won all the bets together. Unfortunately, we forgot to cover a column and we lost the same, as we have the benefit of three more units. So we will again look for the next option. Let us speed up this video and see what happens.
Today, we have three missing spins for odd and lower section of the table. So just like before, we will put one chip on all the missing places and one chip at the last two winning dozens and columns. Let's see. This time, we won only our dozen bet, so we will add one more unit to all the remaining four bets and wait. As we have a profit of two more units, so we will again look for next option. Let me speed up and see what happened. Now we are left with only two bets. It is red and lower end. Let's see. And now we won all the bets, and we have two more unit as profit. So I will again speed up this video, and wait for next possible combination. This time during the last three spins, there is no number from even and higher ends of the table. So just like before, we will put one chip on all the missing places and one chip at the last two winning dozens and columns. Let's see. We won 4 out of 5 bets, and now we are getting 2 more unit profits. So it's up to you now, whether or not you want to continue this remaining bet. I will try once more. Let's see. We won, and we have another two units as profit. So now wait and watch for the next available option. Maybe this will be our last round, as the video is getting longer now. A small gesture is enough for a wiser person, and no matter how long you will explain to a fool, he will remain a fool. So I hope you have understood this trick, and I hope you will subscribe us for more and more fresh updates on roulette and other games like this. So here we are, and you can see that the even and higher 19 to 36 section of the table is completely missing from last three spins. So we will place one one chip at the even and high end section of the table, and we will also cover the last two winning dozens and last two winning columns.
as the winning number is 24 black, and we won all the 5 bets together. And with this win, my friends, you can check the final balance. We won over 10 US dollars in 6 rounds, and it's like winning more than 25%. And that's how, my friends, sometime you can give it a try to play the roulette. But I will repeat again, a strategy is just a part of the winning system, and not the system itself. So always think and play. To know in detail about roulette, and to learn this beautiful art of playing roulette, you can contact us at roulette4master at gmail.com. You can also directly join our live upcoming workshop on April 21st, 2024, which will be conducted in both English and Hindi. This workshop will run for 15 days, and you will need to attend it at a fixed time for 2 hours each day. If any of you find it difficult to commit to a schedule for the next 15 days, you can download our mobile app and join the first part at your convenience in your preferred language. This will allow you to learn in depth about roulette and all other games. The link to our mobile application is provided in the description of this video. That's it for today. I have to go now, but I'll see you very soon with another new roulette update. Till then take care, goodbye.